Hello, welcome to this video. For the next five or 10 minutes, I'm going to showcase an example question for the Certified Kubernetes Application Developer exam. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so one of the first things I like to do when taking the exam is to set up an alias for kubectl, like so. So if I type in alias k equals kubectl, that allows us to do things such as k get nodes. Just makes things a little quicker. So there we have our cluster there. There are three Raspberry Pi sat on my desk next to me. So if we go through the question, the, the first task is to create a namespace to work from. So I could do that by going kcreate namespace task. Okay, that's created. I'm just going to verify that that's working fine. Okie dokie, there we can see the task namespace created. So the next step I have, which is quite nice, is to make things a little easier, is to also set the context and the current namespace to the one you've created. So we can do that by going k config set context current namespace equals task. Okay, so it just allows us to not have to type namespace every time we uh, we type in a command. Okay, so if we look at the, the next task, it's to create a file and store the text hello world in that file. So we can do that by using printf, saying hello world, and outputting that to a file. So for example, value.txt. So if I just cut that value, and we can see hello world. Okay, so that's the second task complete. So the third task is to create a config map with a variable called greeting with a value pointing to the file we've just created. So let's do that. So kcreate config map, the name of the config map. We want to use from file. We want to pass in the name of the uh, variable and where it's coming from. So value.txt. Um, give it a namespace of task. So we can see it's created. So let's just get the config maps. So we can see our config map there. Let's just have a look inside the config map to see see what we've got. So k okay, describe config map task cm. Okay, so there we can see the actual config map itself and the, the data inside it. So we've got a variable called greeting with a value of hello world. Okay, so that's the third task. So the fourth task is to create a new BusyBox deployment with five replicas and expose the config map variable greeting as an environment variable called my greeting. We also have to pass in the command env to the running containers and stop each of the containers from exiting. Okay, so I find the easiest way to do this in the exam is rather than creating a YAML definition file from scratch is to use the, the dry run um, flag, which makes things a lot easier. And we can output that to, to a file. So we can do that by going k create deployment. Uh, let's call it task deployment. Choose the image, which is busybox. Namespace. Uh, let's choose replicas of five. And now we want to perform a dry run on this so we don't actually create the deployment. And we want to output, output that as YAML. And then we can pass that to a file. Let's call it the same name as a deployment. Oh, slight typo there. Let's just quickly change, fix that. There we go. If I clear that, and we should see a new file over here. Okay, let's just do a little bit of a cleanup so it's nice and tidy. A couple of things we don't need. So this is our deployment. We can see we've got five replicas. We can see we have a container inside the pod. Uh, the container is using uh, the BusyBox image and it has a name of BusyBox. So if we just flip back to the example question, so we've created deployment, we specified the number of replicas to use. So next we want to expose the config map as a, an environment variable called my greeting. So if we go back to here, we can specify the env property. We know this is a an array, so we can specify the first item in the array, which is the name. We can put my greeting, and we can say the value is from config map reference key. So that's the key inside the configuration map, and we know that's greeting. And we know the name of the config map is task cm. 
So that should be the, the first or major task in this in this specific task. So the next step is to pass um, the environment uh, command into the container and to make sure it stops uh, the container from exiting it's just so we can keep it running. Otherwise, it would just keep restarting the container because BusyBox would exit with a valid exit code. So we can do that by passing in a command of well, a new shell instance, for example, sh. We want to pass in a command argument. And to pass in the arguments, we create a new array called args. And then we pass in env. And then sleep. Let's give it that. So that should be fine. Let's just check we've got everything. So we've created deployment with five replicas. We've exposed the configuration map data as a variable called my greeting. We've passed in the env command to a shell running on the BusyBox deployment. So that should be everything. So if I just save that. So to run that deployment, we do okay create file uh, task deployment. Okay, so that's been deployed. Let's just check and see what's happening. Okay, so we can see we have the deployment deployed, which creates a replica set. So the desired state is five, current's five, ready's five, that's cool. We've also got five pods uh, deployed, which matches what our um, replica target was. So let's just look at some other, other data that we could see, see what nodes are deployed to. So we can see that the nodes are across two, two, one, one, and they're actually on the master as well. Okay, that's cool. So next we want to inspect. So once deployed and running, get the logs from one of your pods and verify the key or the, the content from the file is in an environment variable called my greeting. So we can do that by going K uh, get all. So we need just one pod to look at. Get the name of the pod. We can do K logs. And then we should be able to see in here we have a, an environment variable with the value of hello world. And that's pretty much the task. So next is to clean up our resources. Because we've made everything in a namespace, that's relatively easy. I just clear my screen. Okay, delete namespace task. And that should be everything to complete this question. Let's just wait for that to, to finish doing what it needs to do. Yep, probably not going to wait that long. Okay. So that was everything in that example. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for listening.